This is the 1985 Australian Mint coin set. Hey everyone, this is the Australian Coin Collector and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, feel free to like and subscribe. Anyway, today we'll be looking at the Australian Mint set from 1985. Now, I got this very recently for $25, which I thought was a great deal considering the coins um, which it contains. Now, back in 1985, this set was issued for $4.20, which in today's money is about $12.30, but uh, the price of this set has risen a lot since then. Now, the outside of this um, shows the Australian coat of arms and has a growing background. It also says 1985, Royal Australian Mint, and Mint Set Uncirculated Coin Collection. Now, if you turn it onto, this, onto its back, you can see there's a brief history, as well as a bit of information about mint sets. Now, I'll just read this for you just very quickly. Royal Australian Mint, uh, the Royal Australian Mint, situated in Canberra suburb of Deakin in the Australian Capital Territory, was opened in 1965 to reduce Australia's decimal currency. It is the first mint established by the Commonwealth of Australia. Prior to opening, Australia's coins were struck by branches of the Royal Mint, mainly in Melbourne and to a lesser extent in Perth and Sydney. Your Mint Set Your Mint Set is made of coins which have not been in circulation. These coins are produced by mass production methods and have been examined to ensure that surface defects are minimal. Royal Australian Mint, Canberra now, what's good about these uh, mint sets is that it's really easy to slide um, the inner folder out of it. Now, if you look at the inner one, you can see that it shows the same thing as the outer one, except with a white background. Now, if you open this, the first thing you will be able to see are these coins right here. Now, this mint set contains not only one, but three low mintage coins. So that will be the 10 cent, 20 cent, and the 50 cent coin, um, as well as one coin that's only available in, uh, available in this mint set, which would be this 1985 five cent coin. Now, there are also the, f it is also the first mint set containing the one dollar coin and the first year of the RM effigy, um, which was different to the effigy that was before it. So it was the second effigy of uh, decimal co on decimal coinage in Australia and the third effigy of Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth overall. Now, it was also made before the $2 coin was minted, so we don't have the $2 coin on this as because uh, it was too early for that. Now, it's important to note that some of these coins might be looking a little yellow. Now, this isn't because they are damaged, it's because the plastic over time has turned yellow, yellow. Um, but I've been told that it doesn't affect the coins. Now, all these coins right here are standard design coins, and it even contains the discontinued 1 cent and 2 cent coins. On the left here, you can see that there is a few paragraphs dedicated to telling you about the new effigy of the queen and the person who designed it. Um, I think I'll just read the first paragraph to you. The new impressions. This outstanding collection of the seven Australian coins in common use features the first time a new, for the first time, a new effigy of Her Majesty the Queen, brilliantly portrayed by Mr. Raphael Maclouf in 1984. Mr. Maclouf was born in Jerusalem in 1937 and has lived in the United Kingdom since the Second World War. His design was selected for coinage as a result of the entries from 17 British and Commonwealth artists invited to submit portrait models. Okay, now if you turn this over right here, you will be able to see that there are multiple lines of pictures and paragraphs. They each have a picture of the coin the animal or animals on it, and a description of the animal. Then on the back, we have the same thing for the rest of the coins, which is the five cent, two cent, and one cent. Now, I won't read this out to you as it would take too long, but at the bottom down here, we have all the specifications of the coins, including the denomination, um, the mass, the diameter, as well as the alloy or what it's made of. Now, what is the mintage of these sets? 
Now, the mintage of uh, this mint set has a mintage of 170,000, which means that 170,000 of these coin sets are out there, although many, oh, well, some of these may be lost, damaged, or opened. Then we also have the regular, uh, regular mintage numbers for the coins. So the five cent, um, as it was only available in this mint set, as well as the proof set, the coin doesn't have a regular, uh, regular mintage at all because it wasn't in standard circulation. Now we also have the 10 cent uh, here, which has a mintage of 2.1 million, the 20 cent of 2.7 million, and the 50 cent of 1 million, which is uh, very low mintages. On the other hand, we have the 1 cent with a mintage of 45.9 million, and the two cent with a mintage of 32.6 million. Lastly, we have the one dollar coin right here, and this has the highest mintage of them with a whopping mintage of 96.2 million. Now, as you can see, that would make the uh, one dollar the most common out of all these coins in this set. Now, what is the value of this mint set? Now, I found these selling for, on average, 30 to 40 dollars with yellow plastic and 35 to 45 in clear plastic um, So yes, the clear plastic ones sell for a little bit more than the yellow plastic ones Anyway, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and as always Happy collecting